Hi guys, Jan here again with a new 3D quick tip video. Last time I showed you how to fix the vertex order. Today I will show you how to fix the symmetry. Sometimes when you are modeling, you just want to turn off the symmetry and model on one side of the model because it's just easier to manage or you just accidentally did something wrong and your model is different on the other side. So how would you actually fix that? Let's take a look. Let's do some small non-symmetrical tweaks to the model so we will be able to see the difference between two halves. Let's do something just roughly like this. And we see an obvious difference between this half and this half. So fixing a symmetry was pretty annoying because I already have a vertex order which it was passed down the pipeline. I already have UVs set up for both halves. In this case they are mirrored so it's pretty easy to do them again. So how we did it before we had tools to do that. Let me just make a copy. We literally selected half of the model which was wrong. Deleted that. Make a duplicate scale it, merge it together, then we had to tweak the UVs and fix the vertex order. So there are quite a lot of steps to do that fix. What we can do right now very very easily is just do it in two clicks. So I have my asymmetrical model here. I will select the vertices which I want to resymmetrize on the other side and go to edit mesh, symmetrize. It will tell me to pick the symmetry axis, which is this, boom, and it's done. UVs are still the same. Vertex order is exactly the same as before. So instead of taking like three minutes to do all the steps I mentioned before, it now takes like two seconds to do. There is a similar tool for symmetrizing UVs. If I open a UV editor, the first set of UVs for me is this one, which is what we usually use in visual effects because each half is exactly the same. So we can easily copy paste the textures from this UDIM to this UDIM. However, sometimes we are requested to make the symmetrical UVs in a single UDIM. For example, for groom, rigging, even sometimes for comp. So what if these UVs are broken? Like something quite wild, like this. So how do I fix that? How do I mirror stuff from here to here? There are two options to do that. The first one is in tools, symmetrize, and it will ask me to select the symmetrical seam which is this one and you can see that the brush appeared and it's a bit slow because my mesh is pretty high res and when I drag the cursor over one side the other side is following based on topology so right now I can just paint over the surface and it will snap these vertices back based on what's highlighted in blue so I can just paint selectively which UVs I want to be fixed. However, this can be quite slow and you usually want entire UV to be symmetrical. The other thing we can do is selecting half of the UVs, clicking this button over here, which will ask us to select the symmetrical edge again. So I picked it up. It will take a second and all our UVs will be mirrored or resymmetrized on the other side. So that's for UVs. And there is one little tool which I want to show you, which is slightly connected to this. And it's very useful when you are making like a face blend shapes. Usually when you are making blend shapes for facial expressions, etc., you want to separate it by a side. So animator can separately control left and right side. On this one, you see that I closed his left eye 
and the right eye is still open so this will be left eye closed. If I want to make the right eye closed what I could do is to put a minus one scale so it will be mirrored but I would have to reorder the vertices again and it's, it's a bit annoying or I can just select the part of the mesh which I want to be mirrored to the other side, not symmetry, not copied, but literally mirrored. So this eye will go there and this eye will go there. It's pretty easy. In the same menu, Edit Mesh, we have a flip. It will ask me for a symmetrical axis and voila, it's swapped. So if I undo that and just double check that this vertex is number 1382, I can just note it in here and I will select this part and flip over this axis and check the vertex number again it's still 1382 so this is very useful when you are just transferring the detail from one side to another while keeping all the UVs and vertex order so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not a subscriber and follow me on social media so you can actually check how my work in progress looks on this guy and see you next time.